so anyway, before it cut me off after 15 minutes. So, so the, the demonic spirits were, I guess I am going into this, uh, <laughs> the origination of the demonic spirit. So, so one of the things that I found out in the book of Enoch, uh, which is an adjunct to the, the Bible, but still with the word of God. Um, so the book of Enoch talks about how, uh, the demonic spirits origins were from the giants or the dead Nephilim. So if you think about the giants or the Nephilim, uh, and you think of, for example, when people think of giants, they think of one giant in particular, David and Goliath. I'm sorry, you think of Goliath. And they were just as evil as you can get. <laughs> and the reason being is because they had uh, one uh, fallen angel father and one human mother. So they did, they were half human and the the part that was rebellious and and uh, fell away from God and thus hated God uh, was the the fallen angel. So they they have as one parent who's their father uh, a fallen angel that that rebelled against God. So they are wicked and rebellious. So anyway, so that so the demons want to live in a host, much like a virus would want to live in or on a person. But as much as a parasite, bacteria, a virus would want to live in a host, a demon wants to live in a spiritual host. So even the scriptures state that the demon says that after he's cast out, that, that oh, I have an idea. I'll go back to the house I w- in which I was cast out of. And if it's swept clean and empty, that's the problem. If it's empty, an empty vessel is somebody who got delivered from a demon or demons and is not living for Christ. For example, if you backslide, then that demon will come back with seven times stronger buddies to inhabit you. It's happened to me when I backslid not once but twice. It's harder to live for Christ. It's harder to defeat those literal and figurative demons in your life. Whatever it is, whatever your weakness is that you were delivered from initially as a Christian, if you go back to it and you and you repent at some point and live for Christ, yes, God forgives you. Yes, Jesus wants to heal, restore, and deliver you. But it's harder to get victory over that area. And this is just spiritual principle. Um, I don't know why the Lord allows that to happen, but each time we backslide, it's harder to ha- gain victory in that area that you once were delivered from. But hey, if you're a Christian who's always lived for Jesus and you never backslid, that's awesome because you won't have to deliver with seven times stronger demons. And each time you backslide, it's seven times seven times seven. Like for example, if you backslide once, you get seven seven times stronger demons. You backslide twice, you go seven times seven. So you have 49 times worth of demons. So, I mean, it's not an exact science, but the scriptures state as much. So you want to always live for Christ, always have your heart filled with the spirit of God. And how you do that? Read the, reading the word, obeying the word, listening to God, obeying God, um, that, that way you don't backslide. So <clears throat> anyway, so, so yeah, so be on the offense, be on the defense, uh, with your spiritual weapons. And I know this was a little bit heavy for a Christmas message, but you're a spiritual warrior in the army of God, as well as a child of the most high. And I hope you have a Merry Christmas. God bless you. Talk to you soon. Bye.